We're live, live streaming. Live streaming. Let's do a little experiment here. Let's see if I could, uh, if I'll be able to download this after I finish. Because the plan, what's up, Corey? The plan is to put this on YouTube and really grow that channel. Corey Kimball, man, it's been a minute, bro. Been a minute. Let's see, about to get out and drive a little bit in this rain and see if I can make me some money by collecting from some of these accounts, but I just want to make a video because I haven't this year. I haven't made one this year. And I just totally got off track. Totally got off track. The whole goal was really to build uh, this platform into a respectable platform. And uh, I have really carried it out this year. But I have been studying the game behind the scenes, uh, studying personalities and stuff like that and that's really what I want to talk about because uh, I really am into watching people who really build uh, the personalities online because I love it I love the whole mindset if I was a young cat today if, meaning you know I'm relatively young but if I was in my late teens early 20s my whole thing would be <laughs> whatever I do and that's you know from you know digging ditches working at a warehouse flipping boxes which is nothing wrong with that you're bringing in money to being a an accountant being a president of the United States was would be to start by building my online presence you know just making videos putting photos not to clout chase but to but to build an income, to build, to, to have the world come to you instead of you going to the world because it just makes you more valuable. And what's funny, <laughs> once I left college, I did, I was in that mentality, not even realizing I was in that mentality because uh, when I left about Austin State, I'm about to state from 95 to 2001. And when I came back to here to Atlanta, I was uh, I was in a relatively good good mood, you know. I had really built myself up real nice about all state. I, I believe, you know. Um, I was in the SGA, uh, writing for the student newspaper, you know, pledge fraternity, you know, made a lot of connections and stuff like that. So I was, I was, I was at my A game. And then when I came back here, I didn't really have a job lined up. But I went to work at my parents' church, you know, doing the, the youth court or anything. I didn't want to be the youth pastor. I didn't want to have that title. <laughs> but I, so I changed the youth coordinator, which pretty much I just got all the young folks together and conducted Bible study and uh, organized that whole program. And it was, it was a good experience. It was a good experience between that and having a second job working at this after school program for the YMCA. It was a good counter clash because at the YMCA, you know, I had limited control. At my at my church, I had full control. And I just saw the difference. <laughs> I had total effect. It was totally effective. My program was totally effective when I had most control. And that, that sort of hit me. That sort of hit me. That told me right there, the more control I have, the better outcome, number one for me, but number two, whatever I was doing. And it wasn't a selfish thing. Everybody else would benefit, but I learned at that point that, you know, if I'm not right, everybody else around me is not gonna be right, you know? If I have any, if I have any say over it. And, and what's messed up, I gave that power up. <laughs> Through some bad decisions. Through some bad decisions, I gave that power up. I'm about to drive now so I'm gonna do this while I drive because it's, it's raining it's raining and uh
because they're really not doing the job. But looking at it on camera, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. know what I'm gonna do something I'm gonna... Let me see if I can scream it for you know what I can do this afterwards I can do this afterwards. that's why I'm gonna keep on talking but well, like I said I made a I made a few bad decisions really and it wasn't it wasn't the intention of making bad decisions it was actually I thought I was actually doing it for the greater good but I get into that hopefully uh, while driving but like I said I've been studying you know, online personalities, uh, especially on YouTube, it's, it's really become addictive because uh, you're seeing people who whatever, whatever uh, spot they are in life, whatever station they are in life, who have a voice because they use social media. They use you know, YouTube mainly is what I've been watching. They make videos. You know, they, you know, some people can talk for can talk for 10 to 30 minutes at a time, but their voice is still out there. And it's just amazing, man, <laughs> because there's no discrimination. It's, you know, if you're good, you're good. <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm, I'm a follower of good content. I know quality content and quality content creators when I see them. And what's cool is a lot of them may not start out as quality and become quality content creators, meaning they get a lot of, you know, they'll get a lot of subs once their content starts to become quality. There's some content creators who come on there and immediately start making quality content and they may get subs. And there's some people that make quality content but don't get subs. What's the difference? The uh, whole idea of the way they market themselves. What I've been noticing is, is that collabs are very important. It's still going. Collabs are very important. Being consistent with how you create content is very important. Like I did an interview last year, and with the with the young lady who was at the time in Delaware, who was a adjunct professor in Delaware and she put me on game saying <laughs> you know to build that content to build an online presence you know you got to engage every day try to put at least five pieces of content which can mean anything from commenting on five people's pages or making five videos or doing a combination of both making a couple of comments on somebody's page and leaving a video leaving a couple of videos here or making four videos and leaving a comment on somebody's page just a combination just you have to engage and i have been doing that i have been doing that if you if you subscribe to the ants game podcast on youtube which all you have to do is just put ants game podcast in the search engine and subscribe i encourage you to do that but in some of these popular chat rooms i've been buying super chats just to keep the name out there and I'm strategic about it because, you know, there might be a, a room that may have uh, 50 people, but if the conversation is great, I'm in super chat. <laughs> Yo, good conversation. Here's $20. Good conversation. Here's, you know, well, I never put more than $20. I put five. My, my range will be from five to 20. But uh, the bigger ones, you know, I may super chat them, that type of thing. But they they probably, you know, they are probably get seen for like five seconds. <laughs> you know? But I'll still super chat. I'll still support because it's good content. Good content is good content. You know? And I mentioned quality content creators. You know, that I've been watching from afar that that I see them at first when they they don't they don't have that many subscribers, and I'm like, yo, this dude. Or oh, this this chick has something. They just got to keep going. 
like I did watch the, the rise of Kevin Samuels. Like I subscribed to him at around 50,000 subscribers because I saw uh, one of his videos in the, in the binge watching, <laughs> you know, a lot of his videos. I'm like, yo, cause this is quality content. And lo and behold, his channel blows up within a year, you know? And it's funny cause he wasn't always like that. Like, I want you to, <laughs> for those of you who watch YouTube videos, go back and watch the the evolution of Kevin Samples. Like, go back and watch his first few videos. He is not <laughs> the same. He does not look the same as he does today. You know, it's amazing. But not just him. Right now, I'm paying attention to the lead attorney. I've subscribed to him at around 10,000 he was at 10,000 subscribers he's right now he's at 53,000 subscribers I just got through watching some of his live stream he's another one that I foresee that is gonna blow up he's, he's doing some things you know I like his game plan his strategy you know the whole idea of, of promoting other people you know the lifting as we climb strategy it works it works and he's he's developing a network of not just himself but other professionals who are going to support him to the very end. Why? Because not just him rising, not just he rising, but you know, other channels that he's promoting is rising. Now I saw that with Kwame Brown, which is a very intriguing character. The thing is Kwame, right now he's not making quality content. He's not. Because right now he's just, you know, it seems like he's just a gossip channel where he's beefing with with other content creators uh, most notably Tommy Sotomayor who's another talent uh, content creator by the way but it's not it's not mission oriented it's just beefing but what I'm hoping is is that you know a person or two uh, somebody pull him to the side and be like yo <laughs> you know you're losing your audience man but but you're still Kwame Brown <laughs> You know, you're seven foot, big, tall, strapping black man, young, played in the NBA, was the number one overall draft pick, and you're fighting against the machine. People are going to want to hear what you got to say. You know, you were winning at some point, at one point. You had the big stream. I saw that, that big stream when he had 40,000 people watching his interview with Judge Joe Brown, which really, in my eyes, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a quality interview. You know, Judge Brown, Judge Brown threw some some haymakers in there, but it wasn't quite an interview, but he had 40,000 people watching him. Now he averages around three to 4,000 on his live stream. But he has the opportunity that at the end of the day, he's still Kwame Brown has accomplished a lot. He's still in the mainstream uh, with his name. So if he, if he gets with a team, some quality people that are really gonna <laughs> tell it to him like he really needs to hear it, then he can turn around. He still has a name. And I, I really I really do hope he changes the format of what he does. I'm just talking y'all. I'm riding through the ATL right now. I'm going to one of my accounts. to collect some money on, on some work I did in the auto industry. That's that's what I, that's where I make the majority of my bread in the auto business. That was another turning point in my life, <laughs> which I will talk about in upcoming videos. Because it's all, it's all evolution. It's all about evolution with, with me. What I'm learning right now is no matter what state I'm in, there would be content. Not content to be satisfied, but to be happy, to be fulfilled at whatever state I'm in. That's what I'm going through personally. But that's what I hope to bring, that's the value I hope to bring online is to present that, that face is uh, present that perspective. 
because there's a lot of depression going around because there's so many people around that are living unfulfilled lives for whatever reason. And I've, I'm going through that. I've been through that. You know, currently, I'm now over 300 pounds, that type of thing. And I'm, I'm losing it day by day. And a big part of that is just getting, waking up every day, being in the right mindset. That's, that's a big key with, you know, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm religious at this point, but I do believe in the almighty. I do believe in that, but I don't believe in, in looking out for the almighty. I believe in searching within for the almighty. If that makes me, that I'm, Let's see. That makes any sense. Uh, you know, finding the beautiful in a day that is dreary like this, but <laughs> it's still a beautiful day. I'm out and about. I got my health. And I'm not working for nobody. <laughs> That's another thing. That's another thing. I'm, I'm a big believer in and being self-sufficient, being the entrepreneur, having the entrepreneurial mindset. It took me a long time to develop that mindset. And that's another, uh, that's another caveat. That's another reason I watch YouTube videos so much. There's all these personalities that, a lot of them don't need jobs. You know, being an online personality is a job, meaning that they created their own lane and they're walking in it. I mentioned Tommy Sotomayor, who is, who does make who is very talented. I wouldn't say he makes quality content as much because he's, you know, he's a gossip, gossip channel, that type of thing. Uh, but he is funny. He does have a personality. He is quick with it and that type of thing. Can't take that away from him. And I used to watch him heavily. Like, yeah, 2012 when I first, yeah, about 2012, 2015 when I first discovered him, I used to watch him heavy. Because I admired what he was doing to be able to travel the country, live in other states on your own time, on your own dime, making it happen. That's that's admirable. <laughs> you know, the good and the bad about it is admirable. You know, and even if, and even right now with his channel's not popping as much as he used to, he still he still hasn't gone got it. Uh, to my knowledge, he hasn't gone to get a job. <laughs> So I've been watching these personalities. I, I really do pay attention to them. It's very, it's very intriguing. Very intriguing. And I hope to, it's not a hope, I will be doing those ranks. <laughs> not for the, the, the fame and all that good stuff. For me, if I'm making enough money to where I can travel, let's say I'm in Atlanta today and tomorrow I'm in, you know, somewhere in the, the deep jungles of Africa. I can still make money that day. That's what appeals to me. <laughs> that right there is what appeals <laughs> to what I'm doing. Is making enough, having enough of a personality to where I can live anywhere I want to, be anywhere I need to be, and be able to make money uh, that day through my businesses or whatever. That's what appeals to me. It's not the fame, it's not the glory. Now I know with me being on the internet, you know, the shots will happen, the, the background checks will happen, and hey, I, I have nothing to hide. <laughs> Although I'm not gonna tell you everything. <laughs> not gonna tell everything about myself, but whatever you find out about me, hey, it is what it is. So I'm not afraid of that at all. But the whole goal is to make is to make consistent quality content and I've been telling people, I've been meeting, I meet people as much as possible and I want to do as many, I want to bring as many, person, uh, as many personalities to this forum as possible. I want you to hear as many voices, as many different voices as possible to this particular platform. I want to be able to serve. I want this platform. My hope is that this platform serves community. And when I say the community, the world, in in every which way for a person to better themselves and to chase their dreams and to put themselves 
in a position to win. You know, the whole chessboard. Monica, the, the grand the grand chess war that we're all on, you know, which position are you in? You know, I never saw myself as a pawn. You know, I saw myself, you know, as somebody playing a significant role, whether it's the bishop, the, the knight, signal myself as a knight. Yeah, that's, that's really, right now I'm probably the bishop, but I want to be the knight. I think the knight is the feels up there with the queen. If you have two knights versus the queen on the board, I think you're <laughs> I think in a very powerful position. A very, very powerful position. Two knights versus the queen. You know, I'll put that against anybody because even though the queen can move around as she pleases night is that that ninja warrior you know you, you really gotta know what you're doing <laughs> to to beat that knight to beat that warrior and then if you have two working together ah oh. there's no stopping you know, never wanted to be the big deal you know I always consider myself to be a good talent scout I always saw the bigger picture well, what I've learned is that the big picture has to be on my terms. It has to be played on my terms. And I'm just that, that night, that warrior, looking for the warriors to mind with. this video and hopefully I can be I can upload this to the Ants Game Podcast YouTube channel uh, and get us rocking and rolling But this, but that's it. I just wanted to record a little bit. Oh shoot! Oh Lord! <laughs> Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? <laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> All right. So I'm just happy. I got to <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Just fell off during a rainy day. Oh my goodness. All right. So I'm about to break out. I'm about to break out. Y'all have a blessed one. Well, I'll let you some. Peace.